We've got here, this is a 10 gig, 10 gig slot. And here we have the 1296 Alfred slot. And this would be the 2.4 gig slot antenna with uh, droplets of water inside. And this must be the cross dipoles for the 70 cents. That's right. Yeah. It's a bit grotty. There's white corroded material around on the thread in there and there's uh, the centre conductor is, has gone black. So that's a 10 gig feed. I'm going to take the, take the slot off off it because uh, we found some problem with the connector. No, that's not too green. And so there's nothing of nasty in there either. It doesn't look too bad. Do you reckon that pin's black or is it just, just the way the light's falling on it? There's a little drain hole in the bottom of the transition which would have been right sitting at the bottom. There it is just there and it's quite clearly been doing its job because there's no high tide marks inside. And so the problem appears to have been water in the connection, the coax connection to the transition. Okay, so um, Stanley knife or something like that. So it's very, very high tech. He was just uh, polishing up the track flange so we can uh, get that surface there, that round surface, uh, quite closely made of the transition. It was a bit dirty and discarded. So while Doug and um, uh, Paul had gone off to get the new transition, we're just going to clean all this up and we've got a high tech solution for radome. Okay, Doug, what are you doing now? Just preparing to do a uh, return loss measurement looking into the uh, replaced antenna and what we'll see is expected to be with a good transition and the, the antenna looks good. And just on cue, it's starting to rain. <laughs> okay, so that's half a dB down, that's the reference level. And so we've got, now we've just got to turn the, the directional coupler around which involves adding adapters unfortunately. Precision end connectors don't go together unless they're exactly right. Okay, that's now 10 dB extra, so that is actually uh, minus 16 dB return loss. Try and keep the bin radius as low as possible. Obviously, they can dump out there. Mm. I'm oh. Peter VK4EA, and this is Doug VK4OE, and we've been doing this servicing job on the beacon antenna for 10 gigs. And uh, what is before us here are all the beacon antennas. But this 10 gig one should now be ready for action. Good return loss, um, no corrosion in the end connectors, and uh, we hope it will serve another few years. And, uh, yeah, happy listening on 10 gigs. All right, let's put it on. Now we're reinstalling the uh, the other three beacons. Main power connection and sensing. And there. So the top box is the, the power supply and 2.4 gigs. And then the, this bottom box. box is the, the 432, 1296, and the 10 gig beacon. Can one of you fellas hold the end of this so it doesn't go in the dirt, please? It has a tendency to wrap around. No, no tune-up required, gentlemen. Good. Good. <laughs> so you're getting enough out? You're getting enough with these two bits of attenuation. It's 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 one and a half dB down on 100 milliwatts on the scale. So that means it's something like 200 milliwatts uh, full power. So that's as it should be.